Distinguished guests, members of the media, colleagues, good morning. Welcome to the signing ceremony of the partnership between Georgetown University and Jasur Institute. I'm Amol Dani, the Chief Operating Officer of Georgetown Scattered Campus. Uh, I'd like to invite His Excellency Secretary General Hassan al Tawadi to the table, and also Dr. Robert Groves, Executive Vice President and Provost, Georgetown University. Thank you. The Supreme Committee, through its Jasur Institute, has undertaken a major responsibility in developing human capacity in the region using sports and sports education as a medium. Georgetown University is proud to partner with the Jasur Institute in this endeavor and help in human development in the region. The McDonough School of Business and the Sports Industry Management Program at Georgetown University combine their expertise along with other leading academic partners to provide professional diploma and professional certificate programs in football and sports management and major events management. In a moment, I will ask His Excellency to offer his remarks. His Excellency Hassan al Tawadi is the Secretary General of the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy, the organization responsible for coordinating amongst public and private entities in Qatar to ensure that the infrastructure and development projects are delivered in preparedness for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. His Excellency Al Tawadi is a graduate in law from the University of Sheffield and speaks four languages. He previously served at the General Council for Qatar Investment Authority and Qatar Holdings, entities founded by the state of Qatar in 2005 to strengthen the national economy by diversifying into new asset classes and growing Qatar's long-term strategic investments. His Excellency also holds, holds board positions at key national organizations such as the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy, Qatara Hospitality, Qatar Rail, and Qatri DR. Your Excellency, could I please invite you to say a few words? Provost Groves, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> thank you for attending the ceremony this morning. Human and economic development comprises two of the pillars of the four pillars of our national vision. Economic diversification through the introduction of new sustainable business sectors is specifically referenced. And when we announced our intention to bid to host the FIFA World Cup, we were cognizant of the immense potential for this event to serve as a catalyst for accelerating the realization of Qatar's ambitions as illustrated in the national vision. The establishment of the Jasur Institute is one of the important elements in ensuring that the potential of the Middle East's first FIFA World Cup is responsibly utilized. Qatar has experience in hosting sporting events. From the 1995, when we hosted the FIFA Under-20 World Cup, annual hosting of ATP tours, MotoGP, PGA European tour events, leading through to the 2006 Asian Games, the 2011 Pan Arab Games, and the list continues, but last but not least, the 2015 World Handball Championships. So we're not starting from scratch, but we want sustainable development for young people, young professionals in delivering these events, and including 2022. We're committed to ensuring that the FIFA World Cup unlocks the human potential in our region and contributes to sustainable growth for the benefit, not only of Qatar, but for the region, for Asia, and for the world. Over 30% of the region's population is between 15 and 29, representing over 100 million youth, the highest proportion of youths to adults in the region's history. Millions of young, educated youth are entering job markets every year. We want to create an ecosystem that can sustain the development of a thriving industry for the decades that will follow 2022. An ecosystem that encourages innovation and entrepreneurship and spurs job creation providing opportunities to the young people of our region. Our long-term ideal is for Qatar and the region to serve as a global hub for knowledge, innovation, and excellence in the sports and events industry. Jasur Institute exists to offer a platform to these young people who see their futures in the sports and events industries, whether it's involvement with the World Cup in 2022, building capacity at a local sports federation in a neighboring country, or launching a tech startup related to sports. Along with the capacity building through both academic and practical knowledge sharing that is done through world-class speakers who are leaders in their fields, Jasur Institute is also focused on fulfilling the research gap that can boost the growth of these industries and that can provide consultancy services to tackle specific challenges faced by major event organizers, major sports and events entities, and federations. Jasur Institute, has received over 1,800 
delegates from over 98 nationalities. It's of the utmost importance that the content and programming that the Institute offers is of the highest quality. And that brings me on to today's signing ceremony. <coughs> Georgetown University has been a partner of the Institute since its inception. And today's signing, signing strengthens that partnership. Georgetown is a name synonymous with academic excellence and now also has a well-established presence in the higher education community in Qatar. Our delegates are fortunate to have benefited from our existing relationship with Georgetown and our numerous other partners. Interaction with faculty and guest speakers, Georgetown's oversight, support, and quality assurance concerning the academic programs and also the gravitas and the credibility that Georgetown's stamp of approval provides when they carry their resume into job interviews. As part of this new agreement, Jasur Institute and Georgetown will work together on the development and delivering and delivery of existing and new workshops and programs, on ensuring that the standards of all these programs are in line with international academic standards, ensuring that the potential of this World Cup reaches the young populations in our country and the region is of the utmost importance to us. Our belief is that Jasur Institute provides an opportunity for people to equip themselves with the skills required to realize their dream and enter careers in the world of sports and events. Ladies and gentlemen, our long-term vision is to create an ecosystem of practitioners who are connected with each other beyond 2022. We want to create a network through Jasur Institute's delegates, and this network should be spread across the world and is able to rely on each other for the progress of this industry. This is when we will truly be able to create sustainable industries. Today's signing reinforces and strengthens the Institute, and we look forward to a long and a very prosperous relationship with Georgetown on the road to 2022 and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Dr. Robert Groves is the Gerald J. Campbell Professor in Math and Statistics Department, as well as the Sociology Department at Georgetown University, where he has served as the Executive Vice President and Provost since 2012. Dr. Groves is a social statistician who studies the impact of social cognitive and behavioral influences on the quality of statistical information. He served as the Director of the US Census Bureau between 2009 and 2012. He serves on various boards, including the United States Senate on Evidence-Based Policymaking Commission, and as a member of the National Science Board of the National Science Foundation of the United States. Dr. Groves, could I please invite you to say a few words? Thank you, Ramal. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, members of the press, we're delighted to be here today. On behalf of Georgetown, I'm, I'm proud to, in, a, in the next few minutes, sign a renewal of our partnership with the Jasur Institute, which provides a wonderful platform for both parties to forge ahead in training and development, education and knowledge in the area of sports and sport event management. Georgetown University is delighted to be a partner with the Jasur Institute the organization that will train a whole generation of experts in sport and major events management under the leadership of the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy. As we all know, the government of Qatar is determined to use the World Cup as a catalyst for further development and growth. And Georgetown is delighted to be a part of this endeavor developing the talents and training the professionals on the ground who will deliver this wonderful world event. As well, as His Excellency said, the large-scale sporting and non-sporting events that will occur across the region long after 2022. By developing the human capital needed for the growth of sports and events management industry here, Georgetown can play, we believe, a vital role in the country and in the entire region's efforts in moving towards a sustainable, knowledge-based economy. We strive at Georgetown to be one of the world's best educational providers with an enduring focus on capacity building. And the combined talents of two of our schools, the McDonough School of Business and our School for Continuing Studies, 
in Washington will produce, in partnership with Dursur, a variety of programs and activities aimed at enhancing the capabilities of those already in the sports and events management industries here, while also preparing new graduates for leadership within these industries. We hope that the quality of these programs reflects Georgetown's international reputation of excellence in the field of sports management training. This agreement that we will sign represents a new and dynamic partnership, we believe, for the future, building on a rich shared history between Georgetown and the state of Qatar. Our campus here has just completed its first 10 years, capping a decade of contributions to the society. And through our new partnership with Josur, we continue to put our Georgetown values to work through a consistent focus on talent development, both within and beyond our walls. So on behalf of Georgetown University, I would like to thank all of those who have been involved in making this partnership a reality, particularly the Supreme Committee and everyone at the Josur Institute. I look forward personally to a long and fruitful relationship with the Institute and for future opportunities for collaboration and exchange of knowledge with full commitment, energies, and talents of our community in Washington, D.C. and here in Doha. Thank you. <laughs>